Hey, welcome to the Lighthouse of Awesome. I am Michael. It's good to have you here. Today I am talking about Augustine's Confessions, book six. So this book was not quite as exciting as the previous five. It had a twist of an ending, but otherwise I kind of thought it was a bit of a snore. So Monica, the ever-perfect Christian, comes up to see her son, Augustine, up in Milan. And so she goes out on the ocean and calms the sailors and does all these different things and comes up and, you know, is totally taken by Ambrose and is so happy that he's convincing her son to find the way towards Christ and the Catholic, Catholic faith and all these good things. She's ideal. She has practices that she used to do back in Africa, and Ambrose has forbidden it, such as giving gifts to martyred saints. And instead of being like, oh, I love doing this. Um, this is stupid. This is not allowed. She goes, oh, what a fool I was for doing these things. Uh, so ever... Perfect in the church's eyes is her mission. In the middle of the book, Augustine talks about his friends uh, that he was studying philosophy with. They seem to be mostly from Africa, Carthage area, that have found their way up to Milan with him. So I guess, you know, friends you meet along the way, I guess. One guy got in a situation where he was heard some commotion, went into a building, found an axe, picked it up, and surprised that was just a tool used to rob silver. And so, don't know, but uh, by the grace of God, they found the kid who did it and brought the axe to him, and he's like, whose axe is this? He's like, that's our axe. Like, hmm. I guess, all right. However that went, and then, so there's a couple other friends that Augustine studies with, gets to know, and goes through things, and Monica starts to be like, oh, isn't it time you get married? And instead of being like, shouldn't you get married to this nice like, young lady that you have a son with? It was, shouldn't we betroth you to someone who's two years too young to get married? Which... God knows how young that is in 385, right? Um, so it's probably like 14 or something. Oh my God. So, and Augustine probably liked her because it was like, ah, oh man, that's, that's two years. I can put this off into the future. Um, man, just stand up to your mom and be like, man, I like the lady that I'm with. Whatever. So both he and his common law light wife are destroyed by this she goes back to africa leaves the kid with him she says she's never going to be with anyone ever again and he goes and hooks up with somebody else while he waits for the 14 year old girl to be 16 or whatever it is so and that's how the book ends so thanks for joining me today. Looking forward to book seven tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully it's a little more interesting and a little more moral. Talk to you later.